So although Better AMS, our agency, is supposed to be an advertising agency, it's really not. And, and, and I want to share this for the first time in this video. You know, what our team is doing relentlessly 24-7, day in, day out, with the utmost laser focus is improving their Scribble.io skills. It's probably by far the most important. It's tied to our mission. It's tied to our vision. And, you know, if you don't know Scribble.io, I mean, I don't even know if you know what life is. I'm just kidding. So Scribble.io is the ultimate culture hack. I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, it's by far one of the funnest games you can possibly play. It was introduced to me by a friend, uh, Aaron Moreno, and uh, it has really improved our culture. Now, culture isn't just about playing some freaking games, okay? Don't get me wrong, I understand the culture is about more so the purpose, the vision, the mission, the core values, the why, why are we all doing what we're doing? We're all on the common, we're all sharing this common mission, this vision, etc. great. But there's an element of culture that is about having fun and building camaraderie, camaraderie, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, that, that word is, I'm saying that correctly, with your team, where you can bond on a level beyond just being a coworker, and you can actually become more of like a best friend type vibe, which is difficult in a remote team, but uh, we found that introducing a weekly game night into our agency has been revolutionary for improving the culture and just the, just bonding with our team on another level. So what we do is we play this amazing game called Scribble.io. It is really, really cool. What it basically is is a drawing game. I'm going to enter a game for you right now where one person is drawing and then other people are trying to guess that specific drawing that the person has made. Now, it's not actually working. I don't know why, but... Uh, normally what's going to happen is you're going to join a game, there's going to be a bunch of people, someone's going to be drawing, and then you're going to try and guess what the drawing is, and uh, the first person to guess it wins the most points, second wins the, you know, second most amount of points, etc. So we play for prizes. It's, it's, it's freaking hilarious. It's really fun. Um, it just, like I said, builds bonding on another level, and the winner gets some better AMS merch. It might be a hat. It might be a sweater. It might be a better AMS shirt. I'm actually not wearing a shirt today. But uh, it is, everyone's competitive. Uh, it, it's a really fun game. We haven't find, found a better game. And uh, it builds a level of bonding that just isn't possible through a weekly stand-up meeting or whatever. And, and it's difficult to build that bonding remote, as I said earlier, just because we never really see each other. Uh, so doing these weekly game nights is legendary. Now, if you know of a game that's better than Scribble.io that is more fun in a weekly game night, I highly, highly, highly recommend you drop it in the comments. I would love to see that. Okay, so drop that in the comments. But uh, the other thing we actually started rolling out and we tested this for the first time last week on Thursday was taco uh, dinner. It was I don't know, I think it was, yeah, taco dinner. Mex no, Mexican dinner, not taco dinner, Mexican dinner. And uh, it was legendary, it was a vir my first virtual dinner, but it was really cool. And um, again, it was a thing where I feel like we were able to kind of bond on another level um, and just shoot the shit about random stuff, not stuff related to do with our agency and Amazon advertising and all the complexities and chaos that we deal with on a day in day out basis to be able to scale the agency, but uh, just random stuff. So highly recommend you introduce a weekly game night into your team. It will definitely really help. Uh, also just what we do is we have the onshore team that has a weekly game night. We're thinking of trying to get the offshore team to do like a weekly game night as well. But right now it's just onshore that's doing the weekly game night because the culture, obviously our culture is very different onshore versus offshore culture. If you don't know, if, if you don't know, I'm talking about onshore versus offshore, we consider offshore a team to be like teams in the th third world countries like Philippines or India or whatever. And, and they're amazing people and they do a lot of great work. Onshore is more people in the US, Canada, and they're, they're being paid much higher salaries and they're expected to help grow the business in levels that the offshore team just can't like really do or they're not really expected to do. So uh, onshore is the one we're, we're playing this game. Onshore, I think we have about five or six people right now, and it's really fun. I highly recommend this. Obviously, you can't really do it if you only have two people. You need at least three, but if you don't need games, let me know, and I hope you test this out, and it works just as amazing for you as it has for us. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm trying to post a video at least once a week, or if not more, and um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, thanks for watching this. Ciao.